Hey, what up, guys? Sonic is Fall here, and welcome back to another episode of Call of Duty Wars 3. We're directly going to claim a lot of the stuff that we got last episode. Final to 17k, which is cool. Right, plan for this is to do another siege, but this time swap out some of these guys. So click on this. Uh, we want not this guy. This one instead, as a cat tries to break down my door. That's what you can hear, it, trying to break down my door. And that's actually the strongest team I can pitch at the moment, it seems. So, we are going to get straight into this one then. So exit that, press start there. Let's get right into this. And I'm never going to do that again. That was a bit weird. So here we go, straight into it. As we will wreck probably the first few rounds quite easily as we are very tanks up. This time around compared to last time. And I knew I forget. I forgot something. I forgot to put in the mech. We have a mech, and I didn't put it in yet again. That's two episodes now. I haven't put the mech in. I mean, I could get rid of the bowman. No, I'd get rid of the gone horse, because he's... He is nowhere compared to everybody else. Even if you put the speed up on him. Even he then just catches up. So, I think I might just put it on one of the tanks next time. I can deploy it at the start. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put it on the tank. Speed up the tank. Oh, wait, they're actually pushing us back, which is is bad. Uh, I need just to get a speed boost. Just my two rank 3 units now. Speed boost on the arrow guy. Pop off more people, there we go. Put off the guy with the uh, cool looking sword. So that should leave us to carry on. Flying through, plus 20 health. Speed up on the arrow guy, just to clear out a load of units. Cut that. Bam, we've got some gold. We don't want... Don't want gold as such. I want to get more crystals, then I can get the upgrade to the spearmen, and then... In a better scenario, so I think I'm going to have to go back a few levels. Try and fly through as much as that's possible. Try and get as many crystals as I can. Because right now, to get past that level, the easiest thing to do would be get those crystals and rank up the spearmen. Um... There is the option of upgrading either one of these guys in the giant tiers, um, but I'm not actually feeling that right now. I'm feeling more like get the spearmen upgraded, keep keep them on top, and keep everything on top. Try and give them, make them more useful because they're a really cheap unit, and we're about to lose this now. So as far as we get this time, uh, which I think is a bit of score, score than last time, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just like, okay, we've got a got like a four minute cooldown on him, so yeah. But you see, look, it's definitely an available item. We just didn't get there. So we're going to the adventure. We're gonna go. That one, but we're gonna go if the servers connect with us. I want to go back to not stage one where I should have got a three star. Go back a little bit further because I want to try and get these 17 crystals. Right, because that is a big thing. So I reckon we go back to eight. Still quite a high thing. Wait for the servers to reconnect again, it should be very easy and very quick to do so. It's because of the amount of stuff going on at the moment. 
we're just going to connect actually get straight into this hopefully it'll connect whilst we're playing and then we won't have to worry about it, I think so I can't remember but I think the spearman can go out all out on this one we're only just to get those 17 crystals now um, and then we should be we should be able to finish like do the rank 10s and you well away there pushing is getting that mana up as well it's really cool to get the mana bonuses quicker as well as all of that that's why we need to kind of save up some money maybe get some upgrades on there there we go just leaving the spearman to do the work mm. as we get a reward a bit of extra cash some easy level ups on the wizard I quite call it a witch is a wizard oops so spam up the spearman again and just keep going spam out spearman not checking out any big units or anything so should be another easy spearman win here as always However, we need to get in get past this ninth level on this one and then get back into trying to get into wooden ways. There we go, before I can even forward to get a tank, don't want it. Mm. Crystals? No. Even though I'm getting like runes and stuff, it's still a chance to upgrade the ones I've got or at least get me more cash then research more um, it would be nice to get another expedition as well but that's 50k uh, I can't remember what the upgrade is for the thing so I don't know uh, it would be nice to see what happens when you combine the bowman we've been using with the shield and sword guy um, because that would be an interesting thing starting to face a little bit of resistance but that's because it started off with a flame for a dude that's fine we just check out a tank in a second return to normal business or we'll be fine before that actually because then flame for a dude went and there we go he's flying down now so there we go I don't see any need in upgrading at all um, I'll leave get another tank on the situation where I get a you know, wizard and check out the wizard just to mix it up a bit see whether it will give it more XP if I actually build one in, in the thing or whether this is just going to be these leveling up stuff for the wizard as possible get some easy levels on him might be more useful uh, to us if we get more levels on things anyway so it's not always a bad idea mm. to go back and try and get I mean, I am after the crystals, which it doesn't seem to be getting. I am trying to get that guy up to level 30 at the same time, so. There are some bonuses. Like, uh, yes, I could use those crystals to try and get past this stage, I mean. But it's not going to actually really help me in the long run. Because I could do it and then just burn through all of mine. Get as far as I can and see what happens that way but then I won't have anything to upgrade any of my giant units with and right now I actually want another 4 star unit so we can possibly push for 5 star unit once we get to 30 that's where the wizard's in and that's why there's like level 3 doing quests and stuff because with level 3 doing quests um, they're getting levels as I level up another level 3 this way which is a better way better way to do it but I can only do like one at a time because uh, the mech's not maxed out either it doesn't make sense taking out the mech uh, because the mech will be great for like the late game kind of thing and I, I accidentally pressed the wizard instead of tank Slight mistake, but it seems to be doing the job anyway. I just let the spearman tank the hex, and then he's chucking big hits from a slight distance, uh, which is good. We should be able to. 
There you go, get enough for him, get enough for the tank anyway. Uh, and we'll have a witch by the tank, which is good. And we'll just try and mull through this as quickly as we can. Just trying to get all those upgrades, well, all those thingy sorted. We'll just go tanks galore and keep going like this because it seems to be working plenty for us so that's all good we're going to keep going uh, yeah as I mentioned last time we've got a Patreon uh, vid uh, explaining all the stuff for our Patreon uh, that will all, as the Patreon gets bigger we'll get more we'll add more stuff to it and then we'll be able to give you guys more um, more content mm. um, better content more professional content and stuff, we'll have more time to do so. And last bit of this, I explained a lot of this stuff going on behind the scenes at the moment. Um, and some bits about the Patreon too. So I won't bore you too much in this episode about the Patreons and stuff. Because if you want to do that, there is a video that's in the description that you can check out and it will tell you all about the current rewards we've got on there. Um, there obviously when when we hit certain stages, we'll add more Patreon rewards and and stuff. So we'll, we'll update what we set as our goals and things when we can, like when we know we can offer something new. Then we'll do that. But at the moment, we can't offer you too much difference. Um, it's just really small, just trying to see if we can get the Patreon things to get going. Mm. Um, really simple rewards just so that, so that we can give you the rewards and then we'll add more to the rewards as we go on. So it's something that will just, it will keep getting better. Unless we hit a situation like hard like Joe did where the Patreons are taking up loads of time. And then some we don't eat, we wouldn't get rid of any um rewards, we're just moving about. Um so you'd have to pay more to get certain things. Um bit like the shout outs, because the shout outs will uh from the three dollar claim at the moment and that's the highest one we do just until we get like an X amount of patrons. We might actually set another we might set a goal on Patreon um and be like here is blah blah blah, blah. um here's blah blah Here's a few things. Um, I don't know. I, I've got a couple of ideas for the future as well of the Patreon and some really cool things that we could do. Uh, bits like that. So as you guys are uh, helping us get better, we'll produce more content and give you better stuff in return for the Patreons. Um, Try and set cool targets as well. At the moment, I think our coolest target that we've got is to set up a PO box um, account. So that's that's one of the targets for you guys to try and hit. But um, as we're recording this video, we're sitting at zero Patreon, so we're still waiting for our first Patreon um, to happen. Uh, but that would be really cool once it does. Like, Patreon is like a monthly charging service where you can donate towards um, towards YouTubers or creators that you like. And a lot of people are giving you stuff in return. Because we're quite new to the service, we've given you basic basic rewards. And then, as more of you guys join, we'll do more actually. But, yeah, and I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but it's because it's so new and could be such a big thing. 
like I could easily give you more more of this content more of Cartoon Wars mm. series that you guys seem to love um, more arc streams more series total and then try and push the quality of video higher and higher and higher which is awesome um, yeah, I think we're just going to go all the way through till rank, yeah, until we get to the boss. We'll just do the entire of this, because I'm quite enjoying it. Right now, we'll do the entire of this, you'll get this all as one video, I promise. I won't split it in the half or anything. So you'll see me do all this kind of session, because... The thing is, with cartoon wars, sometimes I try and limit myself to like a 10 minute episode, but then I either get really into it, and that's when you get the longer episodes, because I got really into whatever I was doing at the time, so sometimes it's grind work and I upload the video, uh, so you guys can see that I've struggled a little mm. bit, but you can see how you get around it kind of thing. Um... Because I haven't watched any other Cartoon Wars 3 creators, um, but I don't know how they they get around areas. And I'm not a pro at the game, but I'm showing like, an, like a way to get around stuff. Probably not the best way. I mean, there's probably units that if you researched into the game a bit and you knew which research to pick up uh which units to pick up at like stage one, stage two and stage three. Uh, and if you need the one star units that become the best ones, uh, I know there's a there's a like an in game guide kind of thing that you can use. Um but I don't use it. I just I like it seeing what units become when they evolve and uh, evolving units that can be evolved kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and there's also the case of do I go for the evolution on this three star unit? Do I go for an evolution on other units? It's evolution and combining because you can you can get some to some really unique units by combining only. But you can't just you can't get them any other way kind of thing, so there is that as well. I've noticed that my tank's gone up in price as well, so it's not the best news sometimes leveling up, but it's really good to do so. And out of the blue we'll just get um get the tank soon. Might just stop and get and grab one now, there we go. So I was found out the units grab a tank, see what it can do, uh, and it shouldn't die too quickly, there we go. So we can start pushing back in a sec anyway, so it's like the first time I've been pushed backwards in this area, um, but it's not for very long, like, because you just build up the units, take on the pressure, and go again. So... Grab another tank just to make sure there's something in front of the wizard and hit the back row hard. It's just when you get to this stage where you can push, um, so you're hitting that back row before it can become too big and too much of a problem um, to deal with. So yeah, that's there's that. And yeah. I mean, if you can hear any whirring in the background or anything, I have got my computer running. Uh, we have done a lot of stuff, and we've recently been to Insomnia, so expect our proper vlog to come out soon. I did some live streams whilst we were at the event to uh, try and out um, live streaming on the phone, mm. which is um, it's quite interesting. So there's always the option to live stream Cartoon Wars. Well, if that is an option you'd like me to investigate a bit more, and start trying to do, um, then I can always do that. I can, these streams can be long, they can be short, um, or you can fly through a lot of it. Like, 
strewn off foam is pretty cool. Um, but you'll probably be able to see that doing it in an event is sometimes tiring. And it's making sure you're doing something at the time, like we were in the queues and stuff, and I was showing you briefly around certain areas and and bits and if it didn't seem like like if we got stuck in the queue for too long or something I'd come off the stream because that's boring and we're not the most confident of people vlogging at the moment so speaking when you're in amongst hundreds of people is uh, can be quite intimidating sometimes like I was getting weird looks just by putting up the selfie stick with the uh, Try and get footage for the proper vlog. Even though it's a gaming event and <laughs> you watched Selfie Six go up all the time and even on the site it was telling you uh, this event will be recorded and stuff like that, so just cover everybody's backs because then nobody gets sued. And it allows people just to vlog around the event and nobody gets in trouble for it. Because I don't want that. It's like a free publicity stunt. I know a lot on this stream. Um, I recorded a lot of the the screen which we kept on replaying whilst we were waiting. Um, I wasn't liking music, just the bass was so good on it that I didn't want to. Plus, um, it's quite easy to get a copyright strike that way, so you've got to be careful with the live streams and monetization and stuff. So sometimes it's just be uh, better to be a bit cautious than it is to just go all in. Like, and we are we're already making plans for what uh, we what we might do for the next event, but. There's a lot of factors in that that needs to be sorted first. Um, because I think one tickets are already available. But we we're gonna try something a lot different. Um, we're actually gonna go there and bring around computers. But we've got we're gonna do a lot of YouTube stuff whilst we're there. So you might even get daily vlogs at that point, just whilst we're going for a break away from the computers or do a bit of vlogging um, it's here and there kind of thing uh, which is pretty cool um, I did think of and just go there, we bring around computers, we get to do lots and lots of collabs hopefully and meet some YouTubers like Syndicate um, who we like narrowly missed on his way back to the hotel um, and we didn't know it but he was actually at the live music with us as well just behind the curtains which is pretty cool um, wish we'd gone to the pub night because the pub night looked like it was a lot of fun the Yogg's cast and Syndicate and stuff. They must have uh, quite a close friendship or something because if you have a look on other people on Syndicate's blog, they're all singing together and stuff and everybody's just having a generally good time, so... It's, it's intriguing to see how YouTubers react to each other kind of thing, so... Um, but it, then it's... You got big YouTubers and then you got smaller YouTubers, and it's it's always interesting to see like who comes to these events, who does what events. Um, are there any particular events that people prefer to go to um, YouTubers wise? Because it's always nice meeting the guys that inspire you to do this. Like. There are YouTubers that inspire me to do, to get back onto this, to just keep going and producing the content I can produce. And um, yeah, and explore different avenues like streaming on Twitch. Is a, that's a different avenue. Um, 
making sure that all my eggs aren't in just in the YouTube basket because YouTube can fluctuate sometimes it can go through some really bad spells so dipping your hand into the Twitch one uh, dipping your hand into Twitch is um, is a pretty cool option to have like you're sitting there and you trying to live stream and then live stream is completely different you can do like a really chill stream you can do a really action packed stream if you want to like our English legend streams they were so chill out and they were, uh, it was really quite nice just to sit there play a game that we normally would play because uh, we quite like the turn based ones that just we don't find them fun to edit like we tried playing Civ and, and we just found out the take so long to, for something good to happen or for stuff to go because people are trying to concentrate so on the game that sometimes it gets a bit hard to do in particular things so instead live stream it so you guys can see it all and then it's always very easy to do like a nice Q&A or something whilst you're doing that kind of game because it's not it's not really reaction based, it's, um, it's just chilled out. Turn back games. Gives us time to um, time to do to think about our turns, to check on the chat, talk to you guys whilst we're streaming. Like if you ever come on the stream and like, ask us questions, if we've got access to the chat we will reply to you on Twitch and yeah, on YouTube if I can find where the uh, how to get it up sometimes because YouTube is quite a new one we stream on but we don't stream on it anywhere near as often as we probably should because we've got more subscribers as we do followers on Twitch um, and a neat little plug in here for us um, just silent shot lens on Twitch as well so uh, yeah, so you can follow us on there as well and catch up whenever we live stream because sometimes it's um, just easier to to live stream, especially on the Xbox One because you just boot up the Twitch app uh, in the background and then just get on streaming whatever you're playing. So no matter what you play, you're doing something and like you're streaming. So. And it's quite easy, all I need to do is just plug in my headset and away we go, kind of thing. Uh, which is really quite cool. I, I like the option. It's option when the when house is quiet, when I'd normally be recording. Well, you get the added bonus sometimes with doing streaming, that you can always just upload the video afterwards as well. Um, to the other format so if I stream on Twitch then I can always upload the format to YouTube for you guys to watch mm. and vice versa but anyway guys this is going to be the end of this episode so as always please like subscribe and I'll see you guys next time and as always game on